Hi, my name is Sebastian from Green Music Productions, and today we're doing something a bit different. As an audio professional, I often have to work on videos, whether it's working on trailers, cinematics, or even on my own YouTube videos, I've been looking for a software that is able to upscale and restore poor quality videos. And I did a lot of research on the internet and one software kept coming back as one of the best. And it's called Video AI by Topaz. And the timing couldn't be better because they just released Video AI 6. So I thought we'd take a look at it today. I will give you three examples and they will get worse and worse in terms of the quality of the video that we're trying to restore. So I hope you enjoy that. As usual, if you like that kind of content, please click the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Now I just dragged and dropped a video here and it's asking me to choose a preset so it can do a lot of things. It can generate slow motion on videos that are not in slow motion, so it can generate frames in between. It can auto crop, stabilization, convert to 60 FPS, de-interlace, upscale, remove noise, and do a bunch of things. So in this case, uh, what I drag and drop is an old video of mine that I lost the original file. And I uploaded this video nine years ago. It's already been nine years that I've been doing this on YouTube. And the video is 720p, it's pretty bad. So I want to improve it a little bit using the compressed YouTube version of the video. So let's try the upscale to 4K preset. So I will skip my intro and we can go in the video somewhere where, you know, there's text and stuff happening. So as you can see, since it's 720p, the text is pretty bad. It's blurry. We can see some pixels and some compression on the video itself. So the interface is pretty easy to understand. It kind of looks like a video editing software like Premiere or something else where you have the video here, you have the timeline and you have the presets, adjustments and settings on the right. Uh, there's different ways that you can see the difference between the processed video or the original. This mode will just let you click to see the old video and when you unclick, you will see the processed video. This is the typical bar uh, to see the processed versus the unprocessed video. And you also have a side by side that you can zoom in and really see the difference between the details. So for now, let's stick with the side by side. Um, since I chose the preset, it gave me some good settings already. So it chose the output resolution. I can choose an AI model. So this is using machine learning or AI and you have different models that can be good at different things. So there's a, a description besides them so you can read it. But in this case, let me try Artemis. It's supposed to denoise and sharpen the video footage. So let's try that and let's try it with the basic settings. And there's a cool feature here where it can only render a small portion of the video. So it's really fast and you can tweak the settings and compare the different renders to, to know exactly what's the best setting for you. That's really good because it allows you to just render some small snippets really fast and compare them. In this case, let's do two seconds and let's render it. So it took about 10 seconds to render two seconds of video. That's depending on the models, the resolution and all the settings that you selected. You can even have more uh, improvements if you want, like frame interpolation. You can convert SDR footage to HDR, stabilize a video that is shaky, for example. And it's really good at that. I tested it a bit earlier. Uh, you can motion deblur videos as well. But for now, let's stick with uh, this basic preset and see what it did to my video. So wow, right off the bat, it's a lot clearer. It's easier to read the text as well. Um, as you can see here, let's go here and see how well it did. Wow, that's pretty good. I think it's easier to use this mode and this mode when you click, it's the original version. And when you unclick, it's the new version. So you can see this is the original look at the mono in and stuff on the left here, the text. And now here's the processed version. It's crazy how good of a job it does at cleaning up the text and making things pop out again. Let's look at those. Wow. It makes everything clearer. So, so far, I'm really impressed by it. Um, 
It's not a super bad quality video, but for upscaling my videos to 4K, even if they were uploaded to 720p, that is pretty impressive. Now let's move on to the next example. Okay, so now let's take a look at this video here. It's an old video. It was filmed on a very old camera over 20 years ago. And as you can see, it's interlaced. We see lines everywhere and it's very pixelated and blurry for the most part, especially if you zoom in. It's really hard to tell what's happening. So let's try uh, the preset to deinterlace and upscale to full HD. Let me try this mode here where you have a line uh, to see between the original and a uh, process video. Uh, so in this case, let's try 4x upscale instead of 1080p. So it will quadruple the resolution of the original video. And let's try another model. Let's try, uh, since it's interlaced, as you can see, the models are a bit different and you have description. Let's try again the general enhancement model called Pruthius. Um, and let's dive in a little bit in the parameters. So I will leave that as is, but you can click on enable parameters to have more control on the different settings here. So fix compression, we want that. Let's go overboard and put it to 100. Improve on details, same thing. Let's go to 100. And I think the rest, we don't really need it. We don't really need anti-aliasing simply because this it's an interlaced video, so it should fix that without anti-aliasing. Let's try that. Uh, let's put those two to maximum and render two seconds and see how, how it goes. Wow, okay, I had really low hopes uh, for this video, but look at what it was able to do. That's insane. That's pretty good. Um, look at the the poles here. Wow, that's that's insane. <laughs> look at the trees. It made such a huge difference. Let's go back to this mode where I can just click to see the original. That's the original and that's the processed video. We can see that the, the, the truck is a bit blocky, but like when you're at normal size, it's not even noticeable. It's night and day. Uh, again, that's the original and that's the processed video. Look at the background here. You have so many details that you completely lose <laughs> in the original video. Even the rocks on the side of the road here that's before and that's after. I'm I'm really impressed by this, honestly. Let's look at the the street and the lines. That's before, that's after. Wow. It does such a good job at cleaning everything up. So far, I'm really impressed by this tool. Now let's look at an even worse example. Uh, same camera but low light environment with a lot of movement and faces. So let's go to the next example. Okay, so here's the video. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. And right now, again, there's no processing. Let's try. Um, uh, let's try the interlace and do 4x, not 4k, but just four times the resolution. And let's try, since we have faces, there's a model specifically for faces, face optimization for LQ input. That's a LQ input, so let's try that out. And um, let's again try the same settings that we had for the other video. Let's try it out and see how it goes. Let's render two seconds. All right, so wow, again, that's before and that's after, and that's low light. Wow. Even even the, the pixels in the dark spots, usually uh, when it's in low light, you can really see some distortion here and it's able to fix it really well. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's before, that's after. Wow, I'm I'm really impressed by this, honestly. Let's try the press play. It's only two seconds, um, but let's try the press play and see. Wow, it looks so much better. So let's press play a bit before so you see the original. And when you see the green line here, that's the process version that will kick in. That's crazy.
Yeah, I'm really impressed by this. I really feel like this tool is worth it. They're not using a subscription model, so you can just purchase the software if you want. You pay a one-time fee and you own it forever. So this is great. I'll leave a link to their website down below and you can try it out for free with watermarks on the output video so you can really take a look at if it's for you or not. And as usual, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you